Welcome to the final days. Today is June 17th, 2019. Today we will be viewing sky and space anomalies not mentioned on mainstream media. The purpose of this channel is to show the viewers that we are living in the very last days according to the Holy Bible and to explain why this is good news and cause for celebration. Explain later in this video. The images we will be viewing were obtained over the past few days from the Federal Aviation Weather Cameras in Alaska and Canada. Each image is 10 minutes apart from the next, such as the video that's playing now. This footage came from the West Facing Weather Camera located in Attawapiskat, Ontario in Canada. It shows the right side of a very large, round object. We know this is not something created from within the camera, such as a lens flare, because the clouds are covering this object part of the time. If the contrast is applied only where needed, it works much better to bring out the detail in the part of the photo that we're focusing on. In some of these frames, please notice that the light source near the top of the screen actually takes on a triangular shape. This enormous celestial object is likely the same object seen in our April 15th video that took up 25% of the sky. This object may also be responsible for removing all the ocean water from Birch Bay in Washington yesterday, in case you didn't hear about that. The channel Mr. MBB333 shows some startling images of Birch Bay emptied of all its ocean water. Any celestial body in close proximity to our Earth can affect ocean tides. Jesus tells us in the Bible's book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 25, that we will see signs in the sky when the end is near. We are commanded to watch for these signs of the last days so that we are not ignorant of the very late hour in which we are living. Here is another celestial object that's being hidden by clouds part of the time. This footage was taken from the east-facing weather camera in Kasagluk, Alaska. We know this can't be a lens flare because it goes behind the clouds. Clouds can never be in front of a camera-produced lens flare. Here is another interesting video from the east-facing camera in Antioch, Alaska. We see a striped planet that looks something like Jupiter, but we'll see proof in just a minute that it's not Jupiter. Once again, if the contrast is applied only where needed, the image comes out much better. As you can see in these contrasted images, the stripes on this object really show up nicely. We know this object cannot be Jupiter because its rings show its rotation as we move through this footage. Jupiter is a gas giant and does not rotate like a solid planet does. In order for us to actually see the rotation of this object, it must be solid and not made of gas. This is another sign that we are living in the last days. It's tough getting good images of the approaching planetary system because the entire state of Alaska is continuously under heavy, chemically induced cloud cover. The best images of this inbound planetary system are always removed from the weather cameras. I only get what they miss. One frame from the southeast facing camera in Puntia Lake, Alaska contained a vertical black streak. This black line is not in or on the camera because the frames before and after do not have black streaks. Then I found exactly the same thing on the east facing camera in Roan, Alaska. Only one frame contained the same black line. The frame 10 minutes before and the frame 10 minutes after did not show the black line. Additionally, the black line is coming directly from the center of the light source above the screen. 
A further look at the footage from the Roan Alaska camera shows a string of round objects. Only one of these can be a lens flare. Actually, none of them are a lens flare because in the last frame of this footage, they are completely hidden behind the clouds. A camera produced lens flare can never become hidden behind clouds. The east facing camera in Yukon River Bridge, Alaska shows a round sun near the top of the photo. However, 10 minutes later, that same sun becomes a triangle. This is yet another sign that we are living in the very last days. Some of you may recall this skull-shaped object we showed on April 15th, viewed from the Cape Spencer camera. The same object was visible from the south-facing camera in Barrow, Alaska three days ago on June 14th. The craft that always accompanies these celestial objects is marked with an arrow. In just a minute, we'll see a better image of that craft. This object has obviously been heavily pummeled by asteroids and other space debris. There are many more objects connected with the foreign system that has now intermingled with our solar system. But due to the heavy cloud cover over the vast majority of Alaska and Canada, these images are only available on a few cameras at any given moment. I really feel sorry for those individuals who are having to depend upon solar energy for their electric needs. This has been the cloudiest year on record since the 1816 year without a summer caused by a massive volcanic eruption in what is now known as Indonesia. There are different versions of the craft we just saw that always accompany these celestial objects. This reflection of the craft shows up as a bright pink object with a propeller near the front. Note it's only a reflection. This craft tows an object not visible here. The towed object actually acts as an umbrella to prevent sunlight from hitting the celestial object so that it doesn't become illuminated and thus more visible. Untold trillions of dollars have been spent on the technology to hide this inbound system. The enemies of Christ do not want you to know how close to the end we are. The enemies of Christ do not want you to turn your life over to Jesus before your time runs out. A couple minutes ago, we viewed footage from the south-facing camera in Barrow, Alaska. This is the east-facing camera in Barrow, close to about the same time. We see another celestial object here, but not quite as clear. It's obscured by the atmospheric chemicals. This system will make its closest pass to Earth during the time of the biblically foretold Great Tribulation, which is very close. As mentioned earlier, this is actually good news and cause for celebration because Jesus has promised to remove his faithful followers from earth before the major destruction. This is commonly called the rapture, which will take place quickly and quietly just before the Great Tribulation begins. 
The New King James Version of Luke chapter 21 verse 36 reads, Watch therefore and pray always that you may be counted worthy to escape all these things that will come to pass. Jesus is referring to the Great Tribulation. He is saying that those who are counted worthy will escape all God's wrath. To be counted worthy, we must be living in holiness. A link in the description box below discusses what holiness is and how to achieve it. The reason that your eternal soul has been sent into this fallen world is so that you can choose to love Christ out of your own free will and live according to that love. This is the only reason we are here in these temporary flesh bodies. These next few screens will tell you how to accept Christ into your life. Please pause the screen if you need more time to read the text.